Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another item guide, and today we're going over the legendary... Nukem. Yep, it is a returning weapon from Borderlands 2, and it's still just as awesome. To get the launcher, you will need the Handsome Jackpot DLC. Um, just like all the other new legendaries in this DLC, they can world drop anywhere within the DLC. So while killing random bosses and mobs, you might find this drop. I did manage to find quite a few during my playthrough. Now, this launcher does have a source, so if you want to farm a specific enemy for this drop, you want to head over to the VIP tower and farm Loco Chantel. So yeah, let's head over and get the drop. Alright, so what you want to do is head to the end of the DLC, uh, to VIP tower, and you can see right here we have a challenge enemy known as Loco Chantel. And she's going to spawn every time, so you spawn in here, you run forward, it's a very fast farm, and she's going to be right here. So we'll go for the kill. Uh, hit the critical hits. And first run, we did not get it. So I'm going to keep farming and get the drop. I do want to mention that these challenge enemies will be dropping a lot of the DLC class mods and also customization items. So it's kind of a bonus for the farm. I think we got it. It was about maybe 10 or 11 runs later, not too bad. Shredded Nukem. You can see here the damage is extremely high. As a trade-off, the fire rate and mag size are not that great. Red text is name dropper. Bonus weapon damage and bonus splash damage radius by quite a bit. And 4.5 times weapon zoom. You can see the similarity to how it was in Borderlands 2. Uh, it's yellow and it has that radioactive symbol on the side. Uh, now, it's not radioactive, but uh, Borderlands 2 did have a radioactive symbol. And as far as I know, this launcher only comes in no element. I'd say it looks pretty good. Alright, so the splash damage is massive on this thing, so you want to make sure you're shooting it far away. And in Borderlands 2, it consumed 2 ammo per shot. For this game, only 1. And it does arc quite a bit more than what it did in Borderlands 2. But you can also hear the power behind it. It has a lingering uh, explosion sound effect. Yeah, let's go find some enemies and try it out. Alright, so we're on Mayhem 4 and the modifiers are neutral. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot these uh, enemies. And we just hit all of them with like one shot there. Honestly, this damage for Mayhem 4 is pretty good. And for one ammo per shot, definitely worth it. Okay, Tink. Halfway dead. Go for one more. And dead. Awesome. And it seems to stagger enemies quite commonly too. Yeah, it just knocks them over. So they just cannot stand up. Oop. Self damage. Yeah, you gotta be really careful with that. Yeah, the range is not good on it. That guy's a little too far away. Yeah, I think if I went blue tree and got some more like splash damage skills, I could um, get more out of this thing. But, you know, we're still doing some pretty good damage with it. <laughs> Alright, final thoughts on the Nukem. It's extremely good. For one ammo per shot for that kind of damage, it is definitely worth it. Keep in mind, I was playing on Mayhem 4, so enemies had five times as much, you know, health and HP and shield than Mayhem 3 enemies. So, this thing on Mayhem 3 would probably, no joke, one-shot things. Overall, great launcher, easy to farm, and yeah, I would say pick it up and try it for yourself, guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.